Imagine a world without trees, a world without insects, a world without flowers, without fish, mammals, or mushrooms. Imagine a world with almost no biodiversity. Biodiversity refers to the variety of life on Earth or in a specific ecosystem. Ecosystems with high biodiversity have many different plants and animals and can better overcome disease, whether related to disasters and human impacts than ecosystems with low biodiversity. But why is this? Different species in an ecosystem are interconnected. For example, let's look at this pond ecosystem. Algae in this pond gets energy from sunlight. This fish gets energy by eating the algae. And this heron gets energy by eating the fish. Together, these species make a food chain. Food chains show how energy moves between organisms, from the sun all the way to the great blue heron. Since most organisms get their energy from multiple places, ecosystems are made up of multiple food chains. When we put these food chains together, we get a food web. Different species also have different niches. A niche is the special, unique place and role an organism has in an ecosystem. A great blue heron's niche includes its place and role in the pond food web as a fish-eating predator. Let's say this pond has low biodiversity, and the great blue heron is the only fish-eating predator. What would happen if a disease wiped out all the heron? With no heron to eat the fish, the fish population would become huge. With so many fish in the pond, all the aquatic plant life would get eaten. This means lots and lots of hungry fish and very little to eat. However, if the pond had high biodiversity, lots of predators that eat fish, like muskrats, raccoons, and snapping turtles, then removing the heron would have less of an impact on the ecosystem. These other fish predators would keep the fish population from getting too large and keep everything in balance. In fact, another fish predator, like an eagle, might even fill the niche the heron left behind. Humans are constantly impacting biodiversity. When we litter, over-fertilize our lawns, introduce non-native species, and cut down trees, we have a direct impact on biodiversity. Pollution harms species and can even result in species death. Non-native species, like the goldfish, can push out native fish. And the destruction of habitat means plants and animals can no longer thrive, throwing the entire ecosystem out of balance. But you can have a positive impact on biodiversity too. By not littering and participating in trash cleanups, you can keep natural spaces clean and safe for native species. Planting native trees and other plants provides habitat, and invasive plant cleanups can keep species from taking over. Thanks for doing what you can to help keep our world biodiverse.